In this video, I'll give you the basics around investing and demonstrate how to stack the odds in your favour. I'll also explain why independent research shows that your portfolio is likely to be underperforming. For sensible long-term investors, there are basically three main approaches to investing in the stock market. Firstly, there's passive investing. This simply means buying into a low-cost fund that replicates the entire market and holding this for the long term. So if the broad stock market goes up 10%, you capture this return. If it falls 10%, you obviously lose the same amount. It's not a bad way to invest and where you hold this type of investment for the long term, you should capture around an 8% return. The second approach is active investing, which is how most people tend to invest and the reason why most people are actually underperforming. This is when you invest with a stockbroker or a fund manager with an expectation that through their skill and their forecasting ability, they can actually beat the market. So here's where the secret actually comes out. Spiva is an independent research house that releases analysis every year around active fund managers. The research consistently shows that 80 to 90% of them underperform their benchmark over every five year period by on average 2% per annum. So to put that into context on a $3 million portfolio, that's an average of $60,000 a year of underperformance. The third approach is called evidence-based investing, which is what we believe in. Essentially, there's an entire body of Nobel Prize winning research that's freely available that shows that if you start with the index and then tilt your portfolio towards value, smaller and profitable companies, you can beat the market on average by a couple of percent each year. This approach is low cost, is highly diversified and it produces dependable and consistent long term results that you can actually wrap a strategic plan around. When you're looking at the management of your portfolio, I want to give you four things to watch out for. Firstly, there are a lot of stockbrokers and people doing it themselves where the strategy is simply to invest between 10 to 30 blue chip Australian shares. This strategy really lacks diversification and in my opinion is a suboptimal way to invest your money. If you don't know what your after fee annual investment returns have been for the past one, three and five years, then in my opinion, this is a real issue. You absolutely deserve and should be fully informed around what your overall returns have been at any given point in time. If your entire relationship with your advisor or stockbroker is based on trading regularly, this should raise some real alarm bells. Highly traded portfolios often lead to suboptimal outcomes. Your portfolio really should be aligned to your goals and to a broader financial strategy. You should have a clear idea around how your investments are designed to help achieve what's important to you. At Capital Partners, we take investing seriously. Every partner in our business is invested in the same investments as we recommend to our clients. We were the first of around 10 businesses in Australia to receive the Centre for Fiduciary Excellence Accreditation, which is globally recognised as the highest investment governance standard. Personally, I'm also an accredited investment fiduciary and sit on the Capital Partners Investment Committee. We can help you build an investment portfolio that will ensure that you capture the returns you deserve for the risks that you're taking and can help build an investment strategy that aligns your family goals to what you're seeking to achieve. If you're interested in learning more, please feel free to get in touch.